Hello everyone, new video about items in RPG Builder. So items are under the general tab and items. So I already created a few for this video and uh, also for testing, you know, all kind of things. So for um, when I implemented uh, the stats for them and so on. Uh, but let's go over what items are and um, what they can currently do for you. So if we click on new and create a new one, uh, you see that of course, you know, we can uh, create uh, a new item. So in this case, we could create, I don't know, a ring or whatever. We can choose a name, ring uh, of a thousand proof. Uh, that's it. Um, and then you have type, so item type. You have choice between a weapon, an armor, consumable, resource, recipe, building. Keep in mind that those types are defined by you. That's not something I'm hard coding for you. The types are in the item settings, as you can see here, weapon, armor, consumable, resource, and extra. So uh, you will be able to define your own types if you wanted to. The weapon type, here we have axe, spear, hammer, bow, and so on. Once again, those uh, weapon types are here under the uh, item settings. So this is free uh, for you to modify, add ones, uh, and remove some of them that you will have in the demo. Uh, the slot type is for weapons. So either a two-handed, for example, a two-handed axe, or a main-handed weapon only. So for example, a sword that you would want to be only equipable on the main hand, so the right hand of hand for example for a, chi a shield or whatever uh, and any hand is of course if you want for example a dagger or a sword or whatever to be possible to equip in both the left and the right hand the equipment slots uh, this is pretty much any slot in the game that you want items to be possible to equip on so of course i'm talking about armors and weapons here right um, once again this is also decided in there equipment slot so whenever you um, install rpg builder and start using it and you want for example to add a ring slot uh, a rune or uh, whatever an, um, an amulet you know whatever you want you are able to do so in the editor without uh, having to cut anything so uh, that's pretty much it for the model name so this is a visual part of items right uh, if we do look at the trainee axe for example we see that uh, it has no model name uh, because model name is reserved to um, uh, armors. But for weapon, it's a bit different. You actually drag and drop a weapon uh, from your project. You just put it there. And there you have uh, the options to uh, control exactly how um, this weapon should be placed in your character. So the position, the rotation, and even the scale. And I'm going to be showing you this. Well, actually, let's go in game now and show you. Um, you know, oh, we have no character. Let's create one. Let's create it. The HMSV. Uh, so quickly, you have this dev UI panel, which is something I'm going to upgrade, of course, before release. But this is how um, I'm saving myself a lot of time. Uh, to get items and uh, you can see that now in your bag we have all those items without you know having to spend too much time doing so but here we equipped uh, the axe so here you have your character panel with all your equipment slots and uh, the axe is equipped visible and that's it you know you can unequip it whatever that's a you know very basic uh, inventory system so that's pretty much it so for the visual, and of course, like I said, uh, the weapons are of course displayed on your character. You can also equip um, two weapons. So let's take, for example, the staff. And now we have the staff on the back and the axe on the main hand. And if you would switch weapon, uh, that will switch hand, of, I mean, switch position. And of course, the armor is also fully supported, so you can fully equip your armor and having it visible on your character. So let's go back to items. So uh, then there are a few settings for uh, combat. 
This is actually not used yet um, in my you know testing project, but for weapons we'll be able to assign attack speed, uh, minimum damage, maximum damage, just you know like you would in any um, RPG. After that, you have a stat section. Uh, the stat is you know what you see here when we hover the um, axe. So if you look at top right of the screen, you see that this axe is giving a hundred health. 25 fire damage and 18 spirits. It's a weird axe, but you know, um, you have to have a lot of imagination for RPG to make it fun, so why not? And um, here you see that this is what we just saw. We have three different stats added we have health, fire damage, and spirits, and the values. So um, it's very easy uh, to add stats to an item. For example, if you go to the chest, and you would want to add a second one. This one is initially has 15 intellect. Now you would just um, select a new stat here. So let's say that you wanted the chest to now give armor and to give 40. You could just do that um, without any issue. So uh, let's go back to the axe. And you have now the general tab. Um, this is also not fully implemented yet. Um, but you're going to be able to set up a sell price, a rebuy price, a stack limit. This is used, of course, uh, how many times an item should be able to be stacked. And you have an item description um, that will also be displayed in the UI, you know. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this uh, video about items. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, RPG Builder is coming with a fully um, functional inventory system, uh, item system and character uh, equipped items it will increase your stats it will do all kind of things um, that you can expect from a more traditional rpg as well as uh, a more in-depth ones because uh, i really like everything that's stats related and so on so items are going to be able to do a lot of cool things and in the future i also plan on making them possible to give you some extra or unique effects for example Let's say that this axe, instead of just having stats on it, it could also give you a 5% chance to cast a fire wave uh, around you uh, when you deal fire damage or whatever. Um, or to trigger a specific ability or to heal yourself in a specific condition or whatever. All of these things are going to be possible in RPG Builder. And this is what's really going to give you so much freedom to create your game and so much freedom to your players to create builds and customize their characters. So that's pretty awesome to me. Uh, so thank you for watching. I see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and make sure to join the Discord so we can start chatting and I can answer your question. See you in the next video.